All right, guys, we are here. We had a patch for the PTU today. Um, I I did see it late this afternoon, but by the time I got up and started doing his recordings and stuff. So it's been a busy day. I haven't stopped. All right, let's jump into it. So it was a PES testing for 3.18.0. Um, the patch itself is the same as the previous build. I believe. Let me just double check that. Uh, oh no, no, it is a different build. Okay, yeah, they're still listing it as a. Oh no, hang on. Uh, here it is. Yeah, sorry, spoilers. Um, so it's still listed as a B nine four two. Yeah, so it is a new build, but it's still a B patch. Okay, interesting. So um, let's go through it and break it all down. Database reset. Yes, server registry, US servers only. Interesting. Long term persistence and is not available because obviously PES. Uh, PES copy disabled. Current build is under NDA. Oh, does it doesn't affect us. We haven't signed it. Please monitor ETF testing chat in Spectrum. Right, so uh, this patch does not contain all the intended features. They'll be added interactively by the note uh, uh, to the notes as they become available. So, uh, special warning, please read. Please do not enter Arena Commander or Star Marine in this release. That's interesting. Testing focus is PES playback test. All right, so uh, I just realized my little mousey thing isn't working. There we go. Um, Playtest length. We are planning to leave the build up until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 p.m. Uh, 2 a.m. UTC, pending any instabilities with the build. As far as I know, I didn't hear anything, so I presume it went well. Testing initiative, login flow, logging into the universe, spawning a ship, and general stability. If the build proves stable, we'd love to have players explore and test out our bounty missions, update restricted area design, and possibly new FPS missions using the Orison platforms. If your character gets into a bad state that is unable to rejoin the PTU, or you see a 3009 error, 30,009 error, please wait 5 to 10 minutes at the most, and if the login persists, then recopy your account to the PTU. This build may uh, has many server crash fixes and ASOP insurance fixes, quantum travel, networking, reputation, and mission completion, elevator virus vis area, and transit fixes that should help it make it much more playable compared to previous tests. Please reference the known issues before uh, uh, below for workarounds and what not to do. <coughs> Specifically, behavior to avoid. Since the features of 3.18 are still in very incomplete state, we're not asking for feedback on specific features of the cargo system, new crash sites, or other features. So, known issues. These are not complete list of known internally to us, but are ones hand-selected for this playtest. Known issues are not always 100% occurrence and may happen frequently or not at all for some players. Character customizer. Stuck on saving character on the front end menu after the first time joining the PU. Multiple ships, vehicles, uh, ships spawning in damaged state despite full health. Okay. PES, core tech. Player spawned vehicle will persist until the player's character is stole following a client side crash. Okay. Uh, multi, -ve uh, multi vehicle VMA vehicles ship components UI unable to customize any ship within the vehicle loadout manager. Okay, it's a pretty big thing. Ship vehicles VS uh, VMS Astro Services Astro Services does not offer the option to repair, refuel, restock ships. Does that mean Astro Services the Astro station is back in? Interesting. Uh, there used to be a station um, called Astro. Astro Station, or something like that it was called. Um, that was in before we really got, uh, yeah, before we got planets and stuff like that. Like, it was, like, yeah, pretty old. Like, 3.1 days, 3.2 days. Um, yeah, you used to fly to it. You couldn't go into the station, but there was this great big station, station where you could, like, refuel, recur, and stuff like that. All right. Um, 
Uh, right. Uh, persistence energy streaming game code characters. After creating a menu, uh, after exiting to menu, when reconnecting the PU, players will load into their primary residence and not the last save location. Okay. Prison. Player is stuck at Kosha after completion of prison sentence. Work around. Log out and lo uh, log out and the bug above will place you back in your home location. Okay, so log out and log straight back in and it'll, that above bug will fix that problem. Infinite load. If the player idles out while playing, error code 3, 000, uh, sorry, 30,028, it will cause an infinite load either returning to the main menu or attempting a client restart to re-enter the PU. Right. Uh, transit, elevators and trams are jittery during transit of player character. Mining, game code. Uh, many mineable asteroids can't be scanned. We actually noticed that before, but anyway. Persistence, ship bed logout. After logging out in a ship bed, logging in may result in the player spawning at a different location. Now we're missing their equipment. Oof. Inventory, loot boxes. Loot boxes will disappear on approach or after opening. Insurances. Multi-vehicles, uh, ships can duplicate after forced claim process if initially they are retrieved and then stored on a different ASAP terminal. Okay. UI, vehicle, quantum travel. Quantum needs to clear route after every jump. Okay, so when you do quantum and you're jumping from place to place to place, you need to clear route and reset it after every jump. Gotcha. Uh, quantum travel UI. Orbital markers, nav points are missing on planets. That could be a bug. Pretty serious bug too. Uh, ship quantum travel. Quantum drive will disappear, disable, sorry, will disable after traveling to a nav surface marker. Uh, location, Hestful. Hest, uh, yeah, location, Hest, Hestful. Commodity, uh, sorry, commodity kiosks, UI, UI may become blurry and eligible while being used. Multiple locations. Actor, feature, UI, medical, player unable to heal injuries in medbed. Shuttle to Vision Center near arrivals, get stuck, and the starships can spawn in inappropriate sized hangars on multiple locations. So at the end of the day, there's obviously a few bugs, but to be honest, considering Pez, I would actually expect it to be worse than that. So, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, they're, they're pretty major bugs, but considering it's Pez, oh, I thought it would have been worse. Um, guys, obviously, at the end of the day, we're not sure how the playtest went. I didn't hear anything, so I'm presuming it went well. Um, but yeah, obviously, at the end of the day, um, I'm still saying it's going to be a December 20 to 23rd release for this. I don't think they're going to get early December. Um, we do have the IAE happening. Uh, a few days now? Countdown to IAE, here we go. Nine days, exactly nine days. Um, so at the end of the day, guys, obviously, yeah. Um, still, They've still got time to obviously go through and get everything working for that. But from what I heard from the, 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 the PTU for that, it was pretty good. Yeah, everything looks like it's pretty much there. Um, I, there was a bug with that where you could go through and self-destruct the ships. Didn't take long people to figure that out. Um, and obviously I haven't been able to join because it crashed on me when I tried to join, although I haven't tried recently. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, obviously with the IA, there's not a lot that they do change per se. Um, it's, you know, it's the same haul, just different banners, different images, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, as for 318... Look, I, I'm still saying it's a December 20 to 23rd. But let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, guys, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself, and we'll see you then.